Hey, I'm Anna McHugh, and uh, I am looking down at a mushroom that I find to be rather interesting that I'd like to tell you about. So this is a mushroom in Amanita section Caesarea, and uh, it's starting to come about, uh, come apart a little bit. I was waving it about a little too furiously because I was excited to find it. Uh, but I want to tell you a little bit about mushrooms in Amanita section Caesarea. Uh, Amanita jacksonii is probably the most well-known uh, species in the section. It's a very popular edible uh, in the southeastern U.S. It's this beautiful, like, bright red mushroom with this lemony yellow stem and a big old, you know, cup of uh, tissue at the base. Um, however, there's a number of other, um, you know, uh, Amanitas and section Caesarea, and this is one of them. Uh, it is one of, at least in my opinion, one of two species. If you know that I'm wrong or have an opinion one way or the other, uh, please do drop a comment. I intend to spend a little bit more time with this specimen when I get home, uh, but you know, I think it is either Amanita uh, arcansana or Amanita banangiana. And uh, both of these are mushrooms that are in section Caesarea that are uh, yellow uh, in color. I'm more inclined to say that it's Arcansana just because, uh, you know, it is reasonably short, but I'm not an expert in Caesarea. So uh, that being said, I'm very comfortable with getting it down to that section, which is about as far as I'll probably be able to go uh, and then follow along as experts delineate additional lines and ways to identify these suckers. But uh, any anyway, Anyway, field identification wise, it's reasonably easy to get to um, uh, Amanita section Caesarea. So Amanitas in general are, you know, kind of classic cap and stem affairs. Uh, mushrooms in Amanita section Caesarea have a really distinctive feature, which is this uh, cup of protective tissue at the base of the stem. And it is very much a cup. Uh, you do have mushrooms that are poisonous that are in section phylloidea, like Amanita phylloides, uh, that also have cups at the base of the stem. So a presence of a cup does not mean that it's in section Caesarea, but that is a very significant feature of the section. So it's that plus a few other things. Um, and uh, section phylloidea, Amanita phylloides, that's the death cap. Uh, suffice it to say, it'll shut your liver down. It's really, really bad. So, um, you know, that's why in general, Amanitas are kind of um, advanced mushrooms for the table. But I will stop rambling and get back to Amanita section Caesarea. So you have this uh, protective cup of tissue. This is a universal veil remnant. So it's just a little egg of tissue that protects the baby mushroom. And as the mushroom emerges, uh, that, uh, you know, universal veil breaks and leaves something at the base. And other Amanitas, you'll see bulbs, you'll see powder dust, you'll see cups, you'll see a variety of different forms that this universal veil can take. Uh, but in the case of section Caesarea, you have um, a cup that is very distinctively, you know, separate tissue. And if you find a baby, you'll oftentimes see, you know, this um, really fluffy bit of tissue around an emergent mushroom that's, you know, adorable and really beautiful. Um, so uh, additionally, Amanita section Caesarea oftentimes have yellowy or yellow gills. Uh, this is a little unusual for Amanitas that typically have uh, white gills as uh, sort of genus. So that's a really good feature for them. Additionally, um, you know, you have a colorful cap in the case of Banangiana, Arcansana, and probably additional Amanita section Caesarea species. Uh, you know, you have this really uh, sort of big bird yellow color. Uh, another feature that's going to help me when I'm researching this at home is that it has uh, an umbo and a really distinctive like brown uh, nipple in the middle of uh, the cap. And so that is going to, uh, you know, maybe help me in narrowing it down. Additionally, uh, Amanitas and Section Caesarea have striations. So, you know, these stripy grooves that are around uh, the cap and it can be very pronounced. Sometimes you have to look for it, but it is definitely present. And then finally, and unfortunately I have already discussed destroyed it. Um, mushrooms and Amanita section Caesarea do have a ring on the stem. There's pretty much nothing left. As I mentioned, I was waving it around and uh, it lost some of its luster. Uh, but, you know, it's oftentimes a very delicate ring. It looks very skirt-like uh, and it can be, you know, broken or wear off very easily. So uh, again, Amanita section Caesarea, very popular, very uh, interesting, especially in the southeastern U.S. We have uh, a lot of variety and just their sheer, uh, you know, colorfulness is it's something that is super special to find them so uh anyway if you know which one it is specifically a 
comment would be great. And uh, in the meantime, I hope you have an awesome 2021 mushroom season.